Hi everyone, in today's video we are going to go through the file exist function and file get attribute and file set attribute command. So if you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, welcome back. So let's get started with file exist function. And file exist is a function so we can display the result straight away into a message box like that and I'm gonna check if my C drive does exist obviously it does exist so it will give me a result that says S H and D these are called attributes and here is a list of all the attributes S stands for system H stands for hidden and D stands for directory I don't know why my C drive is considered hidden but it is apparently hidden now you can obviously do this on a file as well so this is the folder where my script is saved and I'm gonna check if this new text document that I created exists so script uh, if I go ahead and run this I will get a letter of a a means uh, archive and archive means if I go right click on this file properties and then go to advanced here is a checkbox that says file is ready for archiving that is what is meant by archive so if I untick this and press ok ok and then render the script again I'm gonna get a n and stands for normal so it's not being archived anymore so this is how you can use the file exist function and if you want to loop through the attributes one by one then you can you can do the loop pass output bar and message box a loop field and you saw s h and d before right and this time we'll get s h and d all separated out like that now you can also use the if function in order to check if a file exists and perform different uh, things based on the results so if file exists message box file exists else message box file does not exist so the file currently does exist so if I run it I will say file exists if I delete this and run it it will say file does not exist all right so that's how you use a file exist function and let's move on to file get attribute which is just like file exists so I probably don't even have to go deeply into this file get attributes and output bar because it's a command it will output the result into a variable like that a underscore script and let me just go ahead and create that text file again and message box the output output bar then I will get the letter A just like I did before. You can obviously do this on a directory as well and directory will give me read only and uh, D for directory. All right, so that's how you use the file get attribute and you've got file set attribute in order to set different attributes to the files you want, all folders as well. So uh, let me go ahead and say, for example, I wanna make this file hidden then you can go plus to add the attribute and h to add the attribute h to this file and so that's going to be uh, a underscore script and the file name if i run it then this will be hidden as you can see the icon has turned semi-transparent if i go to properties i'll see that the hidden checkbox has been ticked if I do a minus, that means I want to get rid of that attribute. And as you saw, this uh, icon has been made opaque from semi-transparency and the hidden checkbox is not ticked. If you want to apply multiple uh, attributes in one go, you can do a plus and RH. So that's going to make this read only and hidden as well. So as you can see, read only and hidden. Let me check if this is uh, archived okay so it is archived so if I go negative one like that then it's gonna make it read only hidden and not archived so if I go to advanced file is not ready for archiving anymore okay so if you now want to toggle say 
uh, attribute on then you use the caret and so if I go ahead and run it you'll see that uh, it's now not hidden but if I run this again the file becomes hidden again so that's how you toggle on and off certain attributes and you can apply uh, for example let me make this let me just delete this and make all of these files inside this folder hidden and in order to do that you can just simply go star dot star and that's going to make everything hidden so if i go ahead and run it all of these will be hidden let me just go remove the hide attribute then it will come back to visibility if i create a new folder um and then run this this is not going to hide the folder this is this just applies to sorry i should change this to plus make it maybe i can use the caret sign this is not going to apply to the folder and that's because you're going to fill out the next parameter with one and if i go ahead and run it all the other files will come back from hidden status except for the folder so maybe to make it consistent i'll make everything not hidden and then if i do a plus to run it again everything becomes hidden including the folder however if you have a file in here and then try to make that hidden as well that file inside this subfolder new folder this is not good enough as you see this is not hidden you have to provide the last parameter with number one which does a recursive look into the subfolders so if when you do this and run it then the files inside the subfolders will also be hidden as well so this is it for today's video thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one